just one set. <laughs> Weird? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Is this more casual? Can you see my crocodiles? I like, can't see my shorts! This is wonky. Thank you. Welcome to story time. Hi, my name is Izzy Haig. I'm one of the coaches here at Spirit Gymnastics Academy. Uh, I used to compete for Great Britain in acrobatic gymnastics and I'm a three-time British champion, World Games bronze medalist and double silver European medalist. So we put out requests for some questions on both the Spirit Acro Instagram page and my Instagram page and we're just going to answer them in this video. Do you miss competing? Um, I get asked this quite a lot and I do quite often miss competing especially when I'm watching other people doing their routines um, but I love the fact that I can give back all of my knowledge that I gained while I was competing to the current generation of gymnasts um, so I yes and no how did you qualify for the world games so for the world games you have to go through two trials uh, the first trial was at the British tournament in 2017 and then we did a separate trial competition up at Lillishaw um, and then the people who win that both of those trials get to go to the world games how old were you when you moved away and how did you know you wanted to move? So I was 17 when I left Spirit and moved to Heathrow um, and I knew I wanted to move because I'd had some really great achievements while I was here at Spirit um, but I wanted to progress further in the sport and I'd always had a dream of going to the World Championships and competing at world level um, and moving to Heathrow would have given me that opportunity so that's why I went. How long did you train at Spirit before moving to Heathrow? Um, I trained at Spirit for nine years, I think I started here in 2004 when I was seven and I moved away in 2013. What's more nerve-wracking, being a gymnast or a coach? Definitely being a coach is awful when you're standing at the side of the floor um, because as a gymnast, when you have done all the preparation, you kind of know what's going to happen when you go on the floor, you know what you need to do. Um, but as a coach, there's nothing you can do once they've gone on the floor and you've just got to hope that they do their best. What was your favourite moment as a coach? <sighs> There's a lot to choose from. Um, I would probably say that just the whole of the Southwest competition that we went to before Corona locked us down um, because we achieved a load of goals that we set out for ourselves and that a lot of people have been working hard for up to that point. Um, and there were some other people as well who surpassed the goals that we thought they were going to achieve. Um, and we managed to come home with whole load of medals and it was just a really successful weekend and very satisfying. Would you change anything about your career as a gymnast? Uh, to be honest I wouldn't change a lot. I would possibly say that I could have moved earlier to Heathrow and it might have given me some more opportunities um, but then having said that if I'd moved earlier I might have retired earlier and then I might not have done the same competitions that I ended up doing as a senior um, so on the whole I probably wouldn't change anything about it. Why did you go back to Spirit and not coach at Heathrow? Um, so I coached at Heathrow for a little bit after I retired from competing, um, but once I'd finished uni, I decided I was going to come back and try and pass on my knowledge to the club that had started it all off for me um, and help them to try and increase the standards and start to do better than they were doing before. Your biggest achievement as a gymnast? Uh, my biggest achievement was going to the World Games and getting a bronze medal. Um, the World Games is the equivalent of the Olympics for acrobatic gymnastics because it's not in the Olympics. Um, so that was yeah my best thing is getting a bronze medal there. What are your best tips for a stronger core and do you have any specific exercises that helped you? Um, so there's a few things that I like to use to get a strong core. The first one is hanging leg lifts on the wall bars. I used to find them really hard when I first started doing them, but now I find that they're a really good way to strengthen your core. Um, v sits on the floor, I think they're really good as well. And just plank holds because they really test you. What is the highest competition score that Spirit have had? Um, so we've used when we moved into this building as our benchmark as when we started counting from and I think that our grade 3 women's pair Brooke and Isabel got our highest score so far since then and they got 26.69 when they competed in Middlesbrough in February this year. Is there any age limit at Spirit? Uh, no, there isn't. So we start taking gymnasts from preschool age. When they start walking, they can start coming into our preschool classes and then they go all the way through and then we run adult gym classes as well which are open to anyone with any ability. What was your highest score as a gymnast? Uh, the highest score we got as a trio, uh, as a senior trio, was 29.35 and that was at one of the trials that we did at Lillishaw. 
what was your favourite moment as a gymnast? I've got a couple of favourite moments. Um, I'm torn between the World Games as a whole because it was just such a massive experience um, and when we got our balance medal at the Europeans because it just meant a lot <laughs> at that point, what that routine was. What was your favourite leotard that you wore when you were a gymnast? I love them all, <laughs> it's hard to pick. Uh, my black combined leotard is definitely one of my favourites and also my black 12 to 18 balance leotard, that's definitely one of my favourites as well. Um, but they're just also nice. <laughs> what was the most expensive leotard you had? So the black combined leotard we had as seniors was £750 per leotard. What were your favourite trio moves and your favourite individuals? Um, okay, so for trio balance, I'd probably say our foot move, foot tower. Um, it was quite scary to do, but it looked really cool and really impressive when you competed it. And then triple tuck back from platform was probably my favourite tempo move. And then individuals, I really like Healy turns um, and double twisting straight backs, although I never competed that. What is your favourite move to coach? I don't think I really have a favourite move to coach, but I prefer coaching balance over tempo and that works quite well for us because Amy likes coaching tempo. So we tend to kind of share it out so I'll help with the balance more and she'll help with the tempo more. How many members do you currently have at Spirit? Uh, so before lockdown, we th think we had about 250 members and about 100 of those were competitive gymnasts. When did you move into your gym centre? So we moved into our current gym centre in August of 2018. How many hours a week do the gymnasts at Spirit train? Our top squads train about 14 hours a week when we're going at full speed. Um, and then the lowest competition group at the minute trains for four hours a week. How many hours a week did you train as a senior gymnast? Uh, so we were training about 24 hours a week, I think, when we were seniors. What makes Spirit different from other clubs? Um, so a big value that we have at Spirit is that we treat each other as a family. Um, so when people join, they join the Spirit family and it helps to have a nice atmosphere in the gym. Um, but also things like we don't just do competitions, we take our kids away to do displays and things like that. So we go to the London Festival every year. So that's sad we're not going this year, um, but it makes things a bit more special for the kids as well as just doing competitions every now and again. How is your club set up? So we are a not-for-profit company that's limited by guarantee with a CASC status, which means that our directors can't take a cut of any profit, and it also means that we have to make the gym accessible for anyone who would like to join. Where is your club based? So we're based in Yeovil, which is in the southwest of England, about an hour south of Bristol. How old are the youngest top and the oldest top in your top squad? So our youngest top currently is Emily, who is six, and our oldest top is Brooke, who is 12. How many coaches do you have? Well, let me check. So there is 30 coaches in our coaches chat right now, but we're always recruiting for more. <laughs> How old is your oldest competitive gymnast? So we have two gymnasts who are coming back out of retirement this year, Nina and Tara, who are both 20. Do Spirit Gymnasts have to buy their competition leotards? They're always really nice. First of all, thank you. Um, but the way we do it here is that the club buys all the leotards because they're so expensive. Um, and then our gymnasts rent them out for competitions to keep the cost down a little bit for the gymnasts and their families. How do you teach press handstands? Well, keep an eye on this channel because we're going to have a separate video with that coming soon. <laughs> okay, stop it.
That's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe below and check us out on Instagram, TikTok, our website and Facebook.